Hello, welcome to Chief Workshop. Visit our website, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and uh, look for the link in the description where you'll find uh, a free mini course in that link. And uh, well worth your while. So let's get started. Hello again. A uh, little quickie here. Uh, we're going to uh, learn how to import a DWG and edit it so that we can read it so we don't have this, uh, you know, comes in with these weird colors and um, you want to change it and edit it to your suiting. So um, let's just import and um, some quick, some quick trips. Let's bring up a new drawing here. New plan. And let's import the drawing. Some 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 things we want to do. We hit the import drawing key. Um, let's follow the assistant. Uh, we want to browse for it. We want to bring in this plot of survey. Uh, import CAD blocks that are reference in the drawing. Yeah, that's what we want to do. Keep it simple. Uh, what we'd like to do is uh, bring it all in on a on a CAD layer that we can edit with. Um, let's, let's bring it in on the plot plan. Hit next. Yeah, put it all on the plot plan. That's good. You can decide. Feet is sometimes it's inches, sometimes it's 12. The engineer typically goes in feet. And he's done some other weird things in this one with his version of CAD that we're going to have to uh, mess with. So that's his stuff. That is that that comes in, but look what happens. See, it's got all the weird colors and whatever, and he's got his north arrow. But when we take a line, it really and that's supposed to be 120 feet. We snap it to there, and we see that it's only two feet. So it's it it is equal to one inch equals to 60 feet. Um, so what we want to do is we want to blow this up times 60. So how do we do that? Um, let's see if we can, um, what we want to do is we want to select all, otherwise it's at the wrong scale. So let's select everything and we'll turn it into a block or let's, uh, I don't know if we need to, yeah, let's turn it into a block. Okay. Um, let's turn it into a block. Alrighty, now let's take this block and let's scale it. And we wanted to scale it times 60 because well, <laughs> the engineer made it paper size instead of real world. We're going to have to blow it up to real world. So now we got that puppy where we want it, the right scale. And we'll just work with this one. We'll just work with this one. Um... Now let's explode it. Re-explode it. Let's explode it. Now we can mess with it once again. And I can't read this this text, so let's multi-select some text. We can barely read it. All right, that's what we can see in this little thing here. And appearance. We want to click up the default layer so it'll turn into the black uh, of that layer. So now we can read it. And yeah, let's, I can't read that stupid yellow thing. Let's click it to the layer default. Now we can read it. Is there any more yellow, 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 yellow? All right. Um, these are all solid lines. The setback lines we want to portray as a dash line. And so. Maybe we want a color to it. So let's, um, that purple is no good. Let's change that to a blue. And we want to change it to a dash line. And that's a nice dash line there. All right, so let's hit our object property there. 
And now we're going to paint that as our property line is now blue. 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 So now we got our property line blue. Uh, let's do our... Man, you can't even see it. Kind of see some yellow. See, that's our... That's our actually property line. Man. Let's let's look at it in black and white. And you can see that that, that property line, that line style is a yellow, which you can't even see. And let's change that. I like to use purple. And we should punch it out a bit, so I'll go about 70. And I like to use a property line. I like to use dash and two dots from way back in my old days when we drew this by hand. This is the designation we always gave to a property line, a dash and two dots. So let's just uh, keep that working like that. And when we use our thickened arrow, yeah, it really doesn't show it at this scale, but it'll print nice. Um, so now we have our property line. Let's go around and uh, use our object eyedropper uh, and now paint the property line. We want this, we want this guy, we want this guy, we want this guy. And let's zoom in here. And there's this little segment here that we want painted. And we want this painted, you can see the stakes, stake mark right there. And there it is. Now we've got our property line set up. Our setback line, we know where to pop in the building, etc. He did some weird, he's created some CAD block. Look at that, that's a CAD block where they just worked inside that. Which, if we have to, we can explode it. Um... There you go. That's a little, um, you know, now, now, I don't mind that red. I don't mind that red. I don't mind that. That's fine. It'll work. Now we can use this. Now what I like to do is then I like to re-explode it. And we can get rid of this because, the cert, you know, we don't, we don't need this information. So let's get rid of some of that. We can just... Click on it, hit delete, click on it, hit delete, we don't need that, uh, we don't need that, we don't need this guy, we don't need this guy, we don't need this guy, we probably want the scale stuff. So you just go around picking, getting rid of it, you can use multi-select, like that, just window around, all the crap stuff you want to get rid of. Yeah, I don't like that, yeah, yeah. Probably want to stick in another north arrow. I don't like that. Something happened there. It didn't get it's got some weird styling. And actually, these could be filled too. If you really wanted to go to town, you could grab that box and fill it to give it more of a. You know the way these bars work. We can grab a little box. Go from this corner to this corner, like that. Point it. There, fill style, solid, black, bonk. Now we're getting our little checker box, and so now we can take, now we, yeah, let's copy it. Control C, Control V, yeah, Control V, right there, point to point move, corner there, corner there, there we go. And now let's take this, Control V, put it there, point to point it, boom, boom, stretch this guy to there, control V, boom, now it's starting to look like a more uh, nicer looking thing for you to use, scooch that guy to there, that doll didn't get translated 100%. Probably was there on the engineer's drawing. Um, there you have it. You can pop in your own north arrow. And now you've got 
Um, you took your DWG, scaled it, edited the line types. And what I like to do is uh, I use this whole thing as I scoot it around, scoot it around to get it to where the building is. Uh, so I'll grab the whole thing. I'll use the select all. Edit, uh, select all, and I will turn it into a CAD block. So now, this whole site plan, when you, when you when you pick it, hello, CAD block, where are you? Now you can just scoot it around, and you can move it where you want the building to be, and later on you can explode it, and et cetera. So let's go back to how we did that on ours, on our plan here. And there it is there. Now right now I have all offset where I just have that and I have to have to redo just what I just showed you. But I, uh, So there it is as a CAD block. I think. No, that's not a CAD block. No, it's still not CAD blocked. But we can CAD block it. So let's do our select all. Edit, select all. Now it's a CAD block. And block. So now we can scooch it around. And now when we go to our plot plan set, you can see that this is this previous box. We were, we were scooching this thing around. And we'll pop it in the driveway, pop it in the parking, uh, set the building where we wanted it. We wanted to have it have a little driveway, come on in, turn in, park. Go around, a little more parking will be developed here. And this is an industrial building. And um, so we'll lay all the stuff back here. And we see we can still, we still got to go around and edit that on that layer. So that's what that looks like. What we can do is then we can use our CAD block to point to point move it, which I don't want to do. I already said it there. So, but uh, you get the idea. Let's do a little 3D just to show you. Where, I don't even know where that's at. Let's see. Perspective, full overview. There's our building. Yeah, we can just start to get this driveway. We'll stretch it. Turn the parking lot that goes around there, etc. So there you have it. A quickie, a little lesson on how to get your DWG plot plan from your engineer into... Uh, a drawing that you can use to create your terrain, topo, and then give your client a picture of the roads, etc. See you next time. Thank you for watching. Remember to visit our website uh, where there's a blog which we will upload all the uh, free tutorials. Subscribe to our YouTube channel which also will have uh, the tutorials. Uh, look in the description for a free mini course in Chief Architect. Uh, click on that and take advantage of that. And uh, see you next time.